Welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial Episode 54. In this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize Earth Engine vector data interactively with a graphical user interface uh, so that you don't have to write any line of code, but you can still visualize uh, in, uh, vector data easily. So uh, let's go to the website to download the noble example, uh, gmap.org, and then uh, on the left, uh, lower left corner, notebooks. Scroll down to find number 54, uh, Vector VIS. Then you can click the download icon to download the notebook to your computer. I'm going to download to my downloads folder. And then after that, you can open an Anaconda prompt. So you, or you can use a Windows uh, terminal. And after that, you can just uh, Conda activate GE. And then just type Jupyter Notebook. Okay, enter. It's open Jupyter Notebook uh, on your browser. Then you can click the notebooks to open it. Okay, so next, I'm gonna go through here, uh, show you two examples. Okay, so first, uh, let's execute, import the libraries, and then add some data. So we're gonna add some uh, vector data from the Earth Engine data catalog. So the first one here, uh, there are also some raster data set, but uh, that's not the focus of the, this video. And so the first one here is the US uh, census data, uh, the state boundary. And the second one is from my user account, uh, US city. So these are the two data sets we're going to use to visualize. And so first let's go to, oops, looks like the internet is not. Uh, so you can click the upper right corner. Uh, if you want, you can, you can either just hover over your mouse or you can click if you click, uh, it's the, the toolbar is going to appear uh, there until you unclick, okay? So click the layers icon, and from here, you can turn all the layer on and off. We are going to use the US uh, data set, uh, census uh, uh, states. So you can, the first one you can use is to uh, change the layer opacity. So you can sl slide to the left and to the right. It's going to change the opacity automatically. You can also click uh, the uh, the gear icon so this one you can change the visualization interactively so keep that in mind um the uh, this one right now is a vector data layer after you visualize it become a raster layer so if you want to see the attribute table uh you can still keep uh, use the inspector tool so if you click this one then you can click on the map to see the attribute table right so if you click on the map you should be able to see uh the when you click you, you will get the coordinates and then retrieve the polygon. But later, after you visualize, it becomes a raster layer. So it lose all the, it's going to lose all the um, uh, XB information. So you, I want you to keep that in mind. So in here, you can still see, for example, the um, XB table. And this one is Texas, right? So you can see all the columns of the XB table. And I think later, we're also, also going to use some of those, for example, the region, like a US, uh, different region. Is it the east or west or uh, a south or something like that? So uh, we can close this one now. And so next, let's customize this one. By default, if you add a visual collection to the map, uh, Google Earth Engine is going to use some uh, default settings. So it's going to use the black color for the boundary, and also for the uh, the field color is also black, but it's kind of transparent. So roughly fifty percent. And that's why in here, by default, you're going to see in this one, uh, it's actually 66 to, uh, 66%. Sometimes if you just want to show the outline, for example, uh, you can uh, keep this one opacity. You can change the color. Let's say we want to change this one, the, out, uh, the outline to red color. You just select one. You can also enter it from here if you want. And then you can change the opacity. So if you just want the outline, you don't want the color to be filled. Then you slide this one to the uh, to the left all the way uh, it becomes zero and then just hit apply it should give you something like this so uh, if you just want to show the outline this is what you you can do if you want to change the color you're welcome to change for example to any color you like then just hit apply um, it will change the color for you and let me change it back to uh, red color so here you can also change the layer uh, new layer name right as i mentioned uh, if you uh, this is the original layer so after you hit apply it's going to hide this layer and uh, it won't be so if you, you can click on uh, right now we have two layers right but we don't want that 
So this is the new layer name. Anytime you can, you can, you, if you want, you can change uh, the new layer name. It's going to create a new one. So this is how you can just uh, visualize vector data using the boundary. This time, if I click the inspector again, if I click on the map, you might notice, right? So the new layer that we have right now, uh, it, it changed to raster layer. So uh, you need to click on the boundary in order to get the pixel values, but uh, in between, it's just none is there's no data right so if you want you can turn on the original data layer uh the vector data layer if you want to see the attribute for example right now if i click on the map you can see both the raster and also the vector you might need to actually to maximize the map to see the data um so if you click somewhere else uh, it's going to query uh, using both data layers so to this this is the one from the original visual collection this one is after we visualize uh, it lose all the uh, vector XP information. Okay, so uh, besides that, you can also uh, let me uh, minimize and turn this one off. Besides, um, uh, you can, for example, if you still want the field color, you can you can uh, turn this one off. So if you want the field color, I can maybe slide somewhere here, and I can change maybe to blue color, and then just hit apply. So you can also change the line uh, width if you want, and you can also change the the line type, right? So very easy to do. So this is all interactive. You can change whatever you want. Next, I'm gonna show you how to customize by attribute. So if you check this one, it's going to style by attribute. So the attribute it, it depends on how many columns of the uh, vector data. And on the right here shows you all the possible values, right? So this is what you can do easily. And you can select whatever, for example, uh, if I select the, ne uh, the name column, and this is going to show you all the uh, values uh, for that column, unique values, right? And then order alphabetically. So from here, you can just click, for example, how many classes you want, right? By default, if you just use any, uh, it might be too many. So this, I think is 255, uh, might be too much. So you can select, uh, for example, 12. And then you just hit apply. It's going to change that uh, so you can change the opacity. Right now it's uh, uh, it changed to one, so it's not opaque and uh, not transparent. So this is how you can customize the color. You can also change the opacity if you don't want to show the outline. You can change the outline opacity to zero. Now you will just show the outline. So this is also something you can do if you want just want the uh, the map without the outline. And next, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, maybe show the legend, right? So in here, if you uh, keep that in mind, style by attribute. So if you select a column, it's going to retrieve all the unique value for that column. Depends on how many you have. Uh, it's going to depend and also how many classes you have. So if you want to basically uh, cast, uh, visualize the map using a specific number of classes, um, let me, maybe we can try region, for example. If you click region, and so the reason has one, two, three, four, and nine. So we basically have five values, uh, basically five classes. So in here, you want to select classes. You want to be uh, the same so that you can uh, have a unique color for each value. And so we want to select five. And then from here, uh, it's going to have five color, right? So the palette, one, two, three, four, five. You scroll to the right, but I only have five color. And then you just hit apply. It's going to change the, uh, the color. Right. So now you can see, you will see uh, able to see for example uh, uh, different US regions. This is how you can customize color. You can change it to any color you like. Uh, there are lots of color you can choose from. So these are all based on map plot uh, color map. So uh, very easy to do. And then just hit apply. Uh, do the same thing. It's going to change the color for you. If you don't like the color, you can continue to. Uh, to find whatever color you want, for example, this one, right? So next, uh, you can also check the legend. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, also, the the palette. If you want to customize the palette by yourself, you can also select here. You can clear all of them, clear all the color, and then you can select color here individually if you want. And then you select a color, then click the uh, plus button. It's going to add the color there. You can continue to select other color. And then you can add another one. So in this case, we need five color. So we can continue to select number three, and then maybe try the other one. 
number four and maybe last one somewhere here eight right so now we have five color and then you can just hit apply it's going to change the color to based on what you specify right so now this color is what we are selecting uh, you can certainly do it uh, do that if you want next one you can also check here the uh the legend uh if you want to add the legend so right now uh, this sign here also only shows you the the uh, the color map and this is continuous but if you're doing categorical map you are semantic map you want it to be uh discrete so you can you can certainly do it maybe let me change it to some other color and then we can uh, okay maybe try this one see how okay anyway so next i'm going to show you here uh, not a good color not very obvious i'm going to change maybe to uh which one Green. Wow. Then we can click this one, legend. Okay, so let me click this one. So the legend is all, uh, going to automatically uh, convert the continuous uh, legend to a uh, color map to uh, discrete uh, uh, categorical data. And you can have a, a, a title, for example, this is we are trying to visualize the uh, reason. So different, uh, different uh, US reasons. And we can, for example, we can have a legend, a legend title US. Uh, reason and so we have five classes right so uh, each value here one two three four uh, if you don't know uh, the value of each one you can certainly click here uh, on the map with in mind they are uh, in alphabetical order right so if you if you have this right now we have i think this is four colors but we have the other one outside here the uh, continent, uh, continental us so you can click here inspector and click this one uh, maybe they need to maximize so the first one here, this one is reason one, right? So the value is one. And then if you click this one, uh, this is northeast, US northeast. And so the second one here, green color, this is a reason two. This one is uh, Midwest, right? And then if I click somewhere here, this is reason three. Uh, this one is US south. If I click here, number four. So this is uh, west. And I think there's another one here, for example, uh, in here. Uh, on these islands we click this is reason nine so this is basically outside the um, um, mainland uh, united states and once we figure out the color uh each color represent uh, what value then we can create the laser so okay so the first one here because the value one represent uh northeast so let me minimize uh you can change this one if you want so north uh, east then the second one will be uh, the green color mid west okay and then class number three it will be south class four will be west and the last one here I can maybe just use other okay then just hit apply it's going to add the laser uh, just like this and you can maximize and let me turn off all the other uh, this one here Right. so you also have this uh, but once i close this one this one will be gone so in that way you have the uh the semantic map that you can uh with different color so this is very nice because uh unlike uh, arcgis that you can visualize data easy uh google's engine you, you need to write some code behind actually to visualize the data so uh it makes it much faster for you to change the uh, symbology and you can also click the import um, after you customize the data and if you want to you don't you, if you don't want to go through the same step again and next time you can just click import and these are all the uh, uh visualized parameters that you can directly use with your source code and in that way you don't have to uh, deal with the interface uh again so i'm just going to uh here uh, close the uh dialog box and you see it's gone so now we only have uh, the uh, the map and also the laser this is how you can visualize things easy uh, vector data uh, only applies to vector data without having to write um, a lot of code you just need to add the data and then you can play with the uh, the polygon okay so that one is for the polygon but you can also uh, visualize a line or a points data uh, in in this case this one is for the u.s cities right so we have a lot of points in here if you want to customize you can do that as well um, go to this 
and then click the settings from here you can change the color you can change the uh, shape type right so for example I can change the color to much larger and I can change the the shape to maybe hexagon then just apply uh, it's going to apply and by default because this color right now is uh, using the black color I can change it to some other color uh, if you want and then just apply you can also change the line uh, line width the line width is basically the outline if you want it to be thicker you can change it uh, but you don't want to be too thick because uh, it looks overwhelming okay so you can also uh, style by attribute uh, similarly if you click this one and you can style for example in this case the uh, city has population right so we can style by population and because this has a lot of values and this one is a long list uh, essentially it's going to uh, categorize this into uh, multiple groups depends on how many classes you want uh, we can maybe select uh, let's say uh, five classes for example and again you can change the color map if you want you can also change the palette uh, here and then you can just hit apply it's going to uh, visualize the map based on the population right so five classes from the blue color represent a uh, 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 lower number, uh, smaller population, and uh, the yellow color represent a uh, larger population. And if you zoom out, right, you will be able to see this is might be overwhelming, but just to give you some idea how uh, does this uh, work. Right, so you can change the color. Uh, you can also maybe you can change the uh, the point size if you want. Right, so clearly you can see for example blue color uh, yellow color this is a higher population and these are smaller a larger population uh, smaller population depending on different cities you can also change the size if you want uh, so if, if you want to uh, plot the map based on the size of the, po uh, the, 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 the point size depends on population then you need to do some coding uh, for this one right now it's, uh, it's just some basic if you want some uh, customized one you can write call actually do that so anyway so this is how you can visualize earth engine uh, data uh, vector data uh, interactively with a uh, uh, graphical in user interface and like i said you can just click the import uh, it's going to show you all the parameters that you customize so then you can directly pass this one into your source code and the next example i'm sorry is that uh, we are actually doing this uh, essentially the same thing we add the vector data uh, the physical action and then we pass in the parameter uh, what we want to do uh, this is how we're going to visualize and this is the color palette we're going to visualize using uh, for a, a specific column and so here uh, there's a function called add uh, style vector so and then the first you can uh, press shift tab on your keyboard to bring up the function definition and the first one here is the earth engine object and the second one is the name of the column which column do you want to visualize the data and also you can provide the palette and the last one here is kind of about what kind of layer name you want and also you can provide things that you want to pass into uh, the visualization right so we are visualizing this vector data we're going to use the, uh, the name column and so we're going to use this uh, color palette we want this is the layer name and you can also pass passing this one depends on like what kind of color do you want uh, what kind of point size uh, just like what we did earlier using the uh, graphical user interface this one is doing the coding so uh, you, this is a, you have way more control and then you can do ex exactly uh, how you want to do it and you just need to customize the code so that you can uh, visualize the map and, and so this is for example five uh, five classes right so if you want to add a column you can do that so I can change it for example to region okay if I do that again it's going to change that so this is the same as we did earlier right from the north east south midwest and then west and then all the others and this is how you can control the color how to visualize data uh, easily okay so uh, that's all for this uh, video i uh, hope to see you in the next one take care bye bye <music>